A new social media platform is taking the world by a storm. We are talking about the latest app launched by Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg called Threads, which has been pitched as a friendly rival to Twitter. The app has already garnered over 30 million users. But the question being, how significant is this new platform? And what kind of impact will it have on Twitter? To talk on this, we have with us Katie Love, CEO of Love Social Media, and she's joining us live from Miami. Thank you so much uh, to join us on Beyond, Katie. It's great to be with you here today. Right. Now, Katie, before we get into the nitty-gritty of the rivalry between Twitter and Threads, I just want to know, what do you think of Threads? What is it like to use? Okay, I've got to say, within the first few hours, I was hooked. I live and breathe social media on a daily basis. My company covers tons of different platforms. And it is something I think a lot of people are going to be using. And I think Twitter has some big competition. Right. Do you think any kind of additional features will be launched on Threads, considering how the features are very similar to Twitter? Also, talk to us about the differences uh, between the two apps. So there are some differences in terms of the number of characters you can use over on Threads, 500, that's a little bit more than Twitter's 280 count. You can also post 10 photos or images, that's different than Twitter's four. But the big thing is the connect, uh, the possible connection that we've been hearing to ActivityPub, which is something that Meta has says they are going to start to link to. Right, Katie, talk to us some of the reactions uh, after Zuckerberg launched uh, this app called Threads because we, we, we've seen how there were millions of users on Threads already, right? I think a few hours after its launch. Yes, just in the first seven hours, there were 10 million downloads. This is unprecedented for an app. There was so much excitement. I think that there is definitely staying power here. People even calling it the Twitter killer. I am a journalist, a former one. I used to use Twitter all the time. Just in the last six months to a year, I've completely abandoned it. Just too many, too much drama, truly, over on Twitter. So when threads, threads opened up, I was so excited just to have real conversations with people. If you go on there right now, you're going to see people from all over the world going back and forth. And there's no pressure to have an image or a beautiful video. It's just text and real conversations. Right, Katie, um, just a personal question. Do you, do you prefer threads over Twitter? <laughs> I, I, at the risk of being controversial, I definitely prefer threads over Twitter. It is a safe space if you're a business owner right now. It is a place not to just start hard selling, but show your personality show up in an authentic way and make meaningful conversations, you'll definitely catch me on Threads. Right. Also, um, talk to us about how Threads uh, can be used as a business platform. You mentioned of how lucrative it is. Talk to us more on that. This is another way for brands and businesses to make money, but that doesn't mean that you should head out there trying to put up tons of sales. If you look at Wendy's, they're posting, they're just the king and queen, I would say, of brands on social media. They're posting funny memes. They're making light of humorous conversations. It's a chance to get your name out there as a brand, but in an authentic way that's more about storytelling and joining the conversation. And I think if you get on it now, it's really going to make your business stand out. Don't wait. I know when a new platform comes out, we get anxious. Are you serious? Another social media platform that we have to learn, but this is one you should not sleep on. Right. Um, reports also uh, suggest that Instagram is linked to threads. So if you want to delete your threads account, it cannot happen if you delete, uh, remove your Instagram account. Is that true? And if it is, then why is that? So the head of Instagram, Adam Ozeri, has addressed these concerns about if you delete threads, that it will delete your Instagram account. The two are connected. They're all owned by the Meta platform. So what Adam has said is that you can close down your threads account without deleting it and that way you can still keep your instagram alive but they're two they're like sisters and brothers so if you open up your threads account don't delete it if you don't want to delete your instagram account but you can close it down and shut it off in a way without having to delete your instagram 
Absolutely, that's quite a catch-22 situation out there. Um, in your viewpoint, do you think Threads is a clone or a competitor to Twitter? So I do think this because of the text-based conversations happening on both platforms. Adam Mosseri has said that it's a supplement, that they saw a, a blank space in the market and wanted to fill it, but they are very similar. And I'm not sure if Twitter, Twitter is really gonna have a fighting chance because Threads has picked up so much steam. There's even been a threat of a lawsuit. We saw that Elon Musk tweeted that competition is fine, but cheating is not. Mm. Kind of saying that there might be some more drama between Threads and Twitter. Right, Kitty, my last question to you. Do you think that Instagram's Threads app can replace Twitter in times to come? I really do think that it has staying power. We've seen millions flock to the platform just in the first few days of it being live. It has been a place for uh, joyful conversation. I think that people have a breath of fresh air having so much going over on Twitter with the fighting back and forth and not knowing what's going on with Elon Musk. I really do think that threads might be coming after Twitter. Right, Katie, thank you so much uh, for joining us, Nguyen. That was quite an insightful conversation on threads versus Twitter, but thanks very much.